Today on the mini, I'm going to show you how to grill that perfect fish and I'll be using my wild sea bass but this recipe works with any fish that you have so go and check out in your freezer and see if you've got any fresh fish lying there and let's start this amazing recipe. Times have changed. I mean, going to my local fishmonger for my fish for the day, I did queue for almost an hour, but it was certainly worth it because I wanted to treat myself on Easter Sunday. So I got this wild sea bass. But as I mentioned, this recipe works with any fish that you do have. Of course, it's cleaned, gutted, and here I'm using my knife. Why did I even use this steak knife, I guess? that's what was available there and then considering i do have various knives but anyway you would see that i'm actually making all these slants or pockets so that i can infuse it with some marinade later absolutely so now that i've done that i'm happy with it and i've got my lemongrass that i have bashed and i'm just going to insert it into my fish now what's going to happen is when i grill it the oils of the lemongrass are just going to infuse into the internal part of the fish and it's just going to make it aromatic if you don't have lemongrass try using your fresh rosemary or you can omit it all together the next thing is i'm grating some fresh ginger over this on both sides yes because i'm just creating my marinade there and then it's such an easy and straightforward recipe to follow at this point if you, this is your first time then you're welcome thank you very much for tuning in the next thing is i'm just going to grate the zest of two lines over those i mean so you can tell that this is just going to be packed with flavors and bear in mind they are all natural flavors if you don't have lime you can use your lemon and I've got a little bit of sesame oil, so I've drizzled it with sesame oil and I'm adding my salt to taste. Equally, you can use your normal olive oil if you don't have sesame oil. Now I'm grating some freshly milled black peppercorns over this and it's time for me to, you know, marinate this fish. <laughs> So I've rubbed every crevices with this marinade that I've made and I'm going to allow this fish to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes in the fridge. Yes, but not before I've quartered my lines and I'm just adding it to my tray and that will be ready for the grill. Now the next thing I'm going to do is my sauce. I'll be honest with you, when I started making this sauce, I did not even know what I was making. So I added my sesame oil to my pot and then I had some old carrots there. So I was like, yeah, carrots do give sweetness to a dish, so why not? So of course, I've diced it and I'm just frying it in that sesame oil and then I've added my sliced shallots. This is looking incredible so far. Now, bear in mind, as I mentioned, if you do not have the sesame oil, you can use your olive oil. Then I sprinkled it with a little bit of fennel seeds. Yes. Now, that has that licorice flavor. So, I am already building upon the flavor. Now, if you don't have the fennel seeds, try using your aniseed. Next thing is I added my chili flakes. I was like, hmm, what's going on here? Okay. But I fried it as well for about two minutes. And then I added some water so at this point i was like hmm i've got some garlic there let me just add the garlic and one thing i knew was i did not want my sauce to be overcooked i just wanted to see each and every ingredient in there so i found my fish sauce and i added that to it then the next thing is i added my brown sugar so i'm balancing some flavors and some salt to taste now i was like mm, let me add some dark soy sauce because when i tasted it i was like oh it does need that so yes I added that and for that you know sweetness again I added a little bit of oyster sauce now I I looked at the sauce and I was like now I need to thicken this up and so I just took one tablespoonful of my cornstarch mixed it with water added it to it 
um, and then squeeze some lime and I mixed it all together and I'll tell you what I looked at it and I was like oh it's still watery but I'll tell you something I just allowed it to simmer and right before my eyes I could see it getting darker and thickening up now the sauce took less than 10 minutes to make and it's incredible even if I say so the sauce is ready so I've turned the heat off and to that I've just added my freshly chopped mild red chilies. I only had two left so that's why I used the chili flakes much earlier than now. Yes and I'm going to allow the sauce to you know just sit and then when my fish is ready I'll add some coriander and some you know spring onions to it so that it will still be green and beautiful. At this point, preheat your grill to 180 degrees and grill your fish for 12 to 15 minutes. Now, I had a 1 kg worth of wild sea bass. So, depending on the weight of your fish, 12 to 15 minutes for 1 kg works perfectly. Look at that. Of course, I did drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And as I mentioned earlier, my sauce has cooled down. So, I've just added my spring onions, mixed it all together. Now, whilst the fish is hot, once it's come out of the grill, scoop this beautiful sauce and spread it over as one would. Now, what I love about this sauce is I enjoyed it with some rice. It was incredible. You can enjoy it with your couscous. I mean, the number of items you can enjoy the sauce with is just incredible. Chicken, whatever. You know, get some sardines. Get a little bit more chilies if you wish. It is just incredible, even if I say so. I hope I've given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And the notification button, which means each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it. Now to my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for all your kindness, your commentary, and pushing me to the next level. Me love you for you. Absolutely. Now, when I finished, you know, grilling the fish and pouring the sauce over it, I then took to my snack chat on instagram and with a hashtag open your mouth you know i was just teasing everybody but not until i sprinkled a little bit of my coriander in there as well now bear in mind if you don't need to use all these ingredients just use what you have and i have mentioned substitutes throughout the video but you can leave your comments below if you need further substitutes as well yeah and i've got my onion flowers decorated this and guess what? It's the time now for you to open your mouth. The virtual feeding comes up. Uh, thank you so much for watching this recipe and I hope I have inspired you to try it. Now you will find more grilled fish recipes like this incredible macro recipe and also I made this um, grilled salmon with a Guinean black chili oil. Oh it's incredible. I even got you covered by you know those amazing grilled red snapper. The flavors are little mwah, and good old tilapia. Not just any other tilapia. Is that in Dubai for first tilapia? Mm-hmm and yes i my previous video i did put up this rice and peas recipe you need to try those it's absolutely incredible and i've got my jerk chicken recipe as well i'd leave all the links in the description box below naturally i'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafa.blogspot.com so do check it out i'm also on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as in dudu by fafa so do pass by and say hi Noel, thank you very much for my theme song and if you haven't clicked that subscribe button please do so and until my next video with you please don't forget to wash your hands yes take care of yourself boost your immune system keep positive and you know what that dream of yours make it a reality guess what me love you for you so if you're ever gonna change change for you and be a better person each day peace